Hey, it's Camille, and I haven't filmed this video in forever, and I'm sorry that I'm filming on my webcam and not like my good camera, but I'm trying to save the battery on um, my camera, because I'm currently doing a vlogmas. Um, I'm not doing like the typical vlogmas where you vlog every day, I'm kind of doing random bits, because I really cannot vlog every day. I would know I would like not be able to do that, so I'm just kind of doing my own version of vlogmas. Um, so let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing that, because if no one's interested in it, I won't do it. Um... But I don't know. I like doing it because I like looking back, like on vlogs, like seeing what I did that day. I don't know. It's kind of like a personal diary, I guess. My hair looks really weird. Um, but anyways, this is gonna be my November favorites. They're kind of delayed. It's like December fourth, I think. Um, but yeah, I decided whatever. I was just gonna film this video anyway. So yeah. Um, and lots of these are like products you've seen before or you've heard me talk about. So I'm sorry, but yeah. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. Um, for face products, um, first I guess I'll start with skincare. Basically, the Neutrogena Naturals Complete Skincare line. I have the whole line pretty much, except for the scrub, which I haven't tried. But I use the the um, moisturizer. This one during the day, the, the night cream at night. I use both cleansers, one in the morning, one at night. So yeah, I'm completely obsessed. I think it's the best skincare line at the drugstore. It's pretty cheap. It's like ten dollars I think per product. Um, this is just the multivitamin do, um, daily moisturizer, and I use this before I do my makeup, so it's really good. My skin's been really dry because of the weather, and it's really moisturizing. This is the most moisturizing drug um, moisturizer I've found at the drugstore so far, so it's really good. So make sure you check this out. Also, I was in the States, and if you go to Nordstrom Rack, they have this whole line for like $6, so I mean, why not just try it out? So yeah, go to Nordstrom Rack. Okay, for face products, I have um, a couple. These are brand new, but they're like, this one's a repurchase, Makeup Forever HD. This is a one to as I'm dropping it. Um, and this is a repurchase for me. It's my, one of my, I, I'm going to say it's my all-time favorite foundation. That's what it looks like, and it's my shade, and it looks really nice. I'm wearing it today, and I think it looks really good, so, yeah. And this is like my winter shade. In the summer, I think I'm 118. Yeah. And then this primer, I've literally tried twice since I got it, but I'm just going to say it's a favorite because every time I've worn it, and my makeup lasts all day, it looks really, like, wonderful. Like, I cannot, I don't know, this is my all-time favorite primer, I think, so, that I've tried. I haven't tried that many primers, but it is better than, um, the Laura Mercier. Which you'd think Laura Mercier would be better. I feel like lots of people talk about this one. Um... I think I broke it. That's awkward. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Primed in Poreless Pure. And yeah, I'm just trying to use up my Laura Mercier first because I don't know, I don't like starting new products and I haven't finished my old ones. So, but once I'm done, the Laura Mercier, I'll be going to using this every day. Okay, then for other face for, um, favorites, um, my bronzer, which I hit pan on, is Benefit Hula. I've been using this like at the top of my cheekbones. I'm wearing it today. Um, I like to use this bronzer during the winter because I'm not really pale. I'm, I mean, I'm not really tanned, I'm pale, because there's no sun here where I live, and this just gives you, like, a, I don't know, like, you just got back from Mexico or something, like, I don't know, it just looks natural, I think, I don't know, you can't really see it on camera, but it's really pretty, so yeah, and then my favorite blush is Plum Glory by MAC, again, I feel like I talk about these all the time, but it's just a cranberry color, and it looks really natural, like, I don't know, it doesn't look like you're wearing too much blush, like you think, because it's really dark, but it looks almost like, like it has a little bit of warmth to it. I want to try Dallas by Benefit, you can't even see that on my arm. Kinda. It's really pretty though. Uh, so I like to use these two together, and do my cheeks like that. And then as a highlight, I've been using the Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit, which is just a sample size, but I will be for sure picking up the full size of this when I run out, because this is, looks beautiful wearing it today again. So that's basically what I've been doing for my whole, like, cheeks. And I think it looks pretty good. So, yeah. <laughs> for eye products, I have one. And it's a mascara. And when I first got this mascara, I did not like it that much. But I've been using it a lot more. And I kind of like it now. And it's the Colossal Volume Express. And this is the Cat Eyes. And the brush is kind of weird. It's like that. Everyone on YouTube seems to be liking it. And I was like, oh, I don't know why I haven't been liking it. But as I started using it, I don't know. Like... I'm not saying it's my all-time favorite, but I've been liking it for the month. Um, yeah, I mean, for the price. I think I got this for, like, $5, because it was, like, on a special when it first came out. Um, and I saw it at Walmart for $3.99 the other day. $3.99? I think so. So, I mean, it's worth $3.99. Like, I'd definitely pick it up for that. 
I don't know if I would repurchase it because I love trying new mascaras, but I've been loving it for the month, so. And then for the products, Sweet Mint by EOS. I just bought a new one at Target. My favorite is this. It's like a nice mint. Like, I have some mint lip products that are, like, too much, like, too tingly, like, no thanks. But this one's really nice. It's like, it's like a, yeah, like Sweet Mint, basically the name. It's... Really good. I love the color of it too. It matches kind of my wall in my room, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, my favorite. Um, and then my favorite actual like lip product, like color, is these, and they're the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Lip Stain things. And I got two. One of them I bought in Canada like a month ago, and it's in Honey. And then the next one is Romantic, which I just bought at Target. It's a red. Love these. If I'm feeling more neutral, I'll go with um, Honey or Romantic for like a nice red. I like that this is not like an obnoxious red though. It's not like BAM. It's just like a nice red. Um, I might do a tutorial for the holidays. Let me know in the comments if you like that. Um, but yeah, I'm completely obsessed with these. So yeah, I really recommend them. Um, my favorite nail polish. I'm actually not wearing it right now. I was wearing it though for like the past two weeks. Um, but I just took it off because it was shipping. And it was... Um, OPI Designer Be Better, and this is from the Muppets Collection last year, and it's gorgeous, and I'm actually thinking of repainting them today. Like, I've been just reapply this color nonstop. Um, I feel like I gravitate toward this color, like, around the holidays, because, I don't know, it's sparkly, it's kind of darker, and it's just beautiful. And it was from the holiday line last year, so it makes sense. Okay, and then for random favorites, um, I like to do, like, my music, um, TV show slash favorites um, for TV shows. I mean, my TV, I've been watching a lot of TV lately. It's kind of bad. Um, Dancing with the Stars just ended. Melissa Rycroft won. Sorry for the spoiler if you did not see it. Um, but I want Sean to win. You guys know I'm a giant Sean Johnson fan. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of disappointing. Um, what else for TV shows? I watched so many TV shows. The Voice. Um, Des Jerome got eliminated, who was my favorite, which is really sad. It's okay, Des. I still love you. Um, I'll be the first to buy a CD. Um, so right now, honestly, there's no one I really like on The Voice. But if I had to pick one, I'd pick Cassidy Pope. Because, like, some stuff I don't like she does, but most of the stuff I love that she does. So I'm going to say I want Cassidy Pope to win. And she's on Team Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton, I love you. Um, and then I've been watching X Factor. Who do I like on X Factor? I like, okay, I think Carly Rose Sonnenclair or whatever has a good voice, but I wouldn't personally buy her CD. I'm just saying... Like, when I say who I like on these shows, it's people that I would actually, like, listen to their music and buy their stuff. Um, I like Tate Stevens. I love country music. He's the country guy on the show. And then I really like um, Simon's Groots. So, um, Fifth Harmony, which I love. And, but mostly Emblem 3. Emblem 3 is, like, my boys. <laughs> like, they're from California, and I love them. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're my favorite. Definitely on that show. Um, what else do I watch? I've been watching Real Housewives of New York. That's on Wednesdays, too. Um, it's on, I think there's been, like, three episodes so far. It's really good. Um, I love those kind of shows. And then, what else have I been watching? I think that's it. On my computer, I've been really watching um, Teen Mom 2, because it hasn't started in Canada yet, and that's really good. Um, I don't know what day of the week, though, it plays, like, in the U.S. So if you guys know what day of the week Teen Mom 2 plays, just let me know in the comments, and then, because that's when it will be uploaded online, and then that's when I can watch it. So, yeah, I need to start watch, um, watching the new episode of that. And then online, I've been also watching, this is so random, but, like, old gymnastics, like, competitions, like, on YouTube. Like, I'll just, like, search, like, the, like, American Cup, like, 2011, and just watch, I love to watch gymnastics. I personally never did gymnastics. I mean, like, I did dance, which, like, obviously was, like, involved gymnastics, kind of. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. They're kind of related. Um, <laughs> um, but it's incredible what they can do, like, uh, I just, I wish I was a gymnast. I'm too tall, though. I would have not made it at all. Um, but, yeah, I just love watching gymnastics. So entertaining. I feel like this video is so long, so I'm going to try to keep this short. Um, music favorites, quickly. Um, I've been really liking Christmas music, more specifically. Blake Shelton's Christmas CD, Scotty McCreary's Christmas CD, Taylor Swift's Christmas CD, because I love country music. And then when it comes to actual music, I've been listening to, like, old voice contestants, like Ray Lynn, like her music on YouTube, if you guys remember her. And then Cassidy Pope, I like to listen to her songs, like her covers, obviously, because they're not her original songs. 
And then I've also been really liking Taylor Swift's Red still. I'm still not over that CD. That CD is like my life in a CD. So that CD is always on repeat in my room. And then another CD, my all-time favorite CD of all time is Tailgates and Tam Lines by Luke Bryan. So, yeah, love it. So I gotta get going. But thanks for watching my favorites, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.